Lords and ladies, welcome back to my street, five years later, with your host, Jacob. I that rap, but never mind then. Butter. No, but seriously, I am actually like very good at breath control. It's one of the things that I got told a lot when I was in um when I was in drama school and stuff. So yeah, I could have just like held that for a while. I decided, yeah, let's not do the F et etc. Cetera, et cetera, mouthing at the moment. Yeah, we'll get there. Okie dokie. Uh, welcome back to my two five years later. Um I've got a chat thing moment. Oh oh it's Star World ninety eight. Okay, hi. I thought it might have been ghosty trying to claw in again. Because, yeah, the moment I, uh, <laughs> we've got a code thing now for when she actually wants to join a stream. Like, she just writes, this just writes in, in, like, in bold, just scratch. And that's it. That's the signal, like, scratch, scratch, let me in. So, needless to say, I bring this up because we are waiting for Ghosty to join us. Um, presumably sometime soon. I sent the link. You're not safe from me on here. And you're not safe from my grammar corrections. I I tease. Have I got a smudge on the screen? Nope, that is a that is a lighting effect. Sorry, I think it might just be my computer screen. It has like a bit of a, a bit of a spot, like a bit of a spot like right there. Right there. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um so yeah, I don't know where, where it goes to the moment actually. Um, okay, I will get this. I'll get the ball rolling. Actually, to be fair, I think she would want to see this. So, this episode is It's Time, which, yeah, Starlight episode 26. And, yeah, this is one of the times when, you know, the title itself normally would be very vague. I would say that's under regular circumstances, but at this particular time, I think we all know what it's time for, so I don't think it matters. Oh, Ghosty's here. Okay, great. I've stalled enough. Welcome, Ghosty. <laughs> How are you the only one here? I don't know. Also, BB has stumbled in. Hello. Hey, guys. I was out drinking just like a couple minutes ago, and, uh, you know... Wait, uh, oh wow, it's my favorite, it's my favorite Rosie Closet character, Ron Weasley. You know, those good were good videos that you just never released. Shame on you. Honestly, yeah, shame ah! on you. I had oh. some brilliant impressions for only the most accurate of voiceovers. I I don't know if I would call them brilliant or accurate, but they certainly were entertaining. <laughs> they certainly were voiceovers. You weren't there. You don't know the the goodness that I brought to the table. No, Only but Jacob. knowing you for long enough, you can probably imagine. I barely talked to her. Oh, your your reputation precedes you then. Anywho, we've got two people here now, apparently, so Star Wars, you're not the only one. I imagine it's most likely Josh lurking because he doesn't have comments. But yeah, I could be wrong, who knows? Josh is always lurking in the darkness. You'd never know where they are. Actually, I would say you always end up knowing where he is, except for on Twitch. I know, he's, 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 quite, he's quite vocal about his appearances. I'm looking over my shoulder as we speak. Okay. Oh, no, apparently it wasn't Josh. It was actually Pretty Plays. I look forward to completely being roasted for that when I post this inevitably as a VOD sometime in the future. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah, hi, hi, Pretty Plays. <laughs> let's get, let's get, let's get going. Straight from YouTube to your heart, these Starlight shirts are ones you'll never forget, as summer memories last forever. Be sure to check them out in the description down below. Hope you This is sure true. Do. Summer memories uh, do last forever, especially if you document them and post them and people that, come back to them five years later i don't remember a single summer in my life man 
you not remember the summer of, I don't know, of this? It, not really. Oh, I guess you were too drunk. Enjoy the show! Bye! I do love the straight from YouTube to your heart. I can tell that Akka would cringe every time she hears herself say that, but in general, it was still funny. This is a party! <gasps> is it? There's like no one there. That's like, that's like not a party. And yeah, it's great. No, just going to say something in a VOD. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just to clarify, Josh, I'm not having a go at you. It's just, you're a funny character. <laughs> you sure? Well, okay. Yeah. Josh cool. being stupid is like part of the channel lore now. Of course you had to phrase it like that. So oh, is me you've breaking gotta be the kidding illusion. Me. They actually have it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they actually have it! I didn't think it was possible. I need it, I need it, I need it! Come on guys, let's go! Well... I guess it's just you and me. Should we find a... Hey, you made it! I reckon that Caitlyn is, uh, is, was secretly wanting to go and do face painting, but, you know, much like in, like, much like in Acon 2016, she had to give herself permission for that, or have Aphmau do it, and since Aphmau's not there, she's not gonna do anything. Hey, Kai! Whoa, Caitlyn, you look beautiful! <laughs> is this a friend of yours? Thank you, and... well... yeah. I love how we're just pretending that Caitlyn's wearing different clothes to her normal self. You know what? He is. Huh? Welcome! Sorry for- Don't you huh? get it? People it don't wear me? different clothes in fiction. No, just ask Aiden. Clothes are a myth unless you were born with them. <laughs> okay. I think I'm the only one who has gotcha characters with canonical outfits for different occasions. Different well, occasions, in not including daily. Well, the Apple <laughs> Academy characters um, are, are a little bit different in that regard because they actually do have different, like, like Mufti outfits. I put them in, I put them in like outside of uniform because I can like swap it around for the, for the scene where they're not you know, in their school clothes. Yeah, but at least it's not Lion Gate where they change clothes every other scene. Yeah, it doesn't, that even, doesn't... Need, it doesn't even need to be a different day. They just have different costume changes it's like oh it's noon rips off the first layer of clothing and it's just the second layer underneath that honestly sounds a lot like traditional gotcha in a sense like back in the day it was all about like it was all like about like you know, clothing changes and everything because it was obviously starting off as a dress up game that's what people tend to focus on first until eventually the community gets a hold of it i don't know I also looked at you know the no the the person yesterday who was on on um one of my vods by the way we're recording this on September second um the other person yesterday who was on the vod where um uh their their, their name their username was Kayla Brown um and uh, yeah that they mentioned that they had a channel and I looked at that channel particularly and it seemed it reminded me a lot of those channels from back in the day but just modern like the exact same. The exact same um style and the style and advantages and disadvantages everything was just very much on display there yeah and also like, the, also a three-part series based on a music video i very much enjoyed it <clears throat> oh you checked oh you checked out too yeah uh I've, I've only seen bad girlfriend parts one through three at this point did so, clothes yeah. exist in the middle ages yes you really are drunk, aren't you? For catching you guys off guard. I just wanted to see Listen, if you needed someone uh, to show you around. Listen, take a nap, drink some pickle juice or something. You can get Alka-Seltzer tablets for that now. Is that pickle juice? Is that the implication here? Is that pickle juice or is that water? I don't know. She's shaking maniacally, so I don't think it is. I don't think you didn't tell me I had to stop drinking it. 
What? Okay, but you you did. Oh my fucking god, you are drunk. Oh, I blame this on you. Can we can we just like can we just like get Mimi to come on here? Let me just let me, let me just let me just let me just. My uh, arm is wet. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. All right, let's continue. Caitlin. Oh, heck no. Nah. <laughs> I love that. Travis nah. wanted to get his face painted. <laughs> With the blood of my enemies. Oh, hey, Travis. Done already? What's going on here? I was just offering to take Caitlin on a tour. What's there to tour? There's the dance floor, the DJ, the face painting, and tables to sit. I that's a very good question, actually. Yeah, what is that? So, thank you, Travis, for doing my job for me. I don't see what... There's much more than that, dummy. <laughs> for starters, there's a few games and auction items for charity along the outskirts. Oh, cool! I'd love to play! Great! You two are welcome to join us, too. I think I'm just going to go find a table to sit at. Is that Remember, when you find in the background? Yes, it is. Table, you can write your name on the note card on it. That way, no one will take your seat. Unless someone just takes the note card off. Yeah, uh, yeah. I wonder what they're doing over there. Shall we go, Caitlin? Face painting. I'm coming too! Didn't you want to do face painting? No! I, I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> it's like in front of Kai, it's like, yeah, face painting? No, I'm a man. Of course he's going to do it. Uh, or also just <laughs> fighting the urge to actually go there. Oh, and apparently... um. Wind. Oh, Hello, yeah, okay. baby Satan. Is everyone just drunk today? What is this? Did Apparently, I miss some sort of holiday slurp, or something? It's All right like, then. Uh, Labor Day weekend here in the states. Personally, I'm not much of a drinker. All alcohol tastes like vinegar water to me. Well, vinegar and alcohol are very similar in composition, so that does make sense. Um, but also, isn't what is, isn't the point of liver day to preserve your liver, aka not drinking alcohol? It's labor day. Oh, sorry, I thought you said I thought you said yeah. liver day. Yeah, <laughs> liver day, very well known all across the planet. Truth be told, not just America. It's a <laughs> I'm like, baby Satan, I love a vine gat. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make that a I'm gonna make that a thing. Whatever whatever day whatever day this airs on YouTube is now officially liver day. We will celebrate it every year whenever I post this on YouTube. Uh, yeah, Happy liver day, day us, everyone. It's a day for us to not get drunk. <laughs> yes. Happy liver day. Don't get drunk. That's the slogan. I had a child, and now I can't live with myself. <laughs> that kind of implies that you're your own child, and you're a clone. I don't know. Uh, also, apparently, <laughs> David Sater says uh, that uh, she loves vinegar. Good to know. I really wish oh I could get like a, like a bit of like your spaced out face as the thumbnail. <laughs> that would be amazing. BB, take a nap or something. You know what? At, at, at some point, I just have to do like, I have to put you like on top of the screen and just do a screen grab and like put your face on top of Afmal. Because the thumbnail for this video is Afmal like crying like with happiness because of, you know, the thing that it's time for. But uh, yeah, <laughs> obviously, obviously, BB's face here would be a, a more interesting experience. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so this seems an interesting start. I'm sure that, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've done a lot of these. I can't quantify them anymore. This way. And yes, wow, baby time. I was like, your fanfiction. Oh, no. No, Gareth, stay away from anything with feathers. Don't do it. No. <laughs> Bad Gareth. <laughs> no, my <laughs> God. Ready to get your face painted? Wait, huh? Why are you the one painting? Yeah, do something while we wait. This makes money. Yup, 
Now, what can I get for you guys? I love how Guy said he was here for, for a vacation from vacation. He just working the whole time. It's a... Uh... Uh, guy is terrible at this. I like to imagine that he just that thinks like... he's good at it. Uh, the guy is just everywhere at once. He is that one guy. Yeah, I, bet, I don't think that, I don't think there's ever like any genies in the Akmal universe, but guy is the closest thing, as far as I'm aware. Akmal <laughs> should have done Aladdin when she was you know, still on the cliff and hadn't fallen off. Actually, it, it kind of makes more sense for her to do Aladdin now, if you think about it. She could, she could do, she could easily do Adopted by the Genie family in Minecraft. She should wish for her oh channel and integrity to come back. Well, that's, that's certainly, that's certainly a wish to try for, for a Genie. No, that's no, they not can't true. Make I'm true. great at painting on. Yeah, that's true. There are a few certain rules, a couple provisos, a few quid pro quos. Animals, just watch. Whatever you say, hun. I don't know if I should be excited or scared. You've done this before, right? Nope. Now pick an <laughs> animal. Wee! So, guys, this first. Ah, uh, yes, the Wii. That's an animal, isn't it? <laughs> Nintendo named their console after an animal, <laughs> officially. Nintendo! I like to think that he just painted on the words we on her eyeballs. <laughs> Excuse me, what? No, 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 no. See, he, here's, here's what happened. No, she, he, he just painted just painted a Nintendo Wii across her entire face like that. And then, like on, and then, like on one hand, she has a Wii remote. The other one, she has a nunchuck. I just realized we can all leave by drinking today. And yes, we know you love Akmal. Uh, you okay, babe? Yeah, I'm fine. I feel better. Just a little exhausted. I feel like I'm slowly getting my strength back, though. Good. Maybe your body is starting to adjust to the changes. Maybe. Starting. Still, I think we should sit a moment. I'd rather you rest before we make it to the hill. We have to climb? <laughs> a bit. <laughs> This is the place I was telling you about a while ago. And there are a few obstacles in the way to get there. It's okay, you're a werewolf. You should have more durability. Unless, of course, once again, her continuity's messed up. Also, it is the dumbest thing in the world to have, like, a hat like that where your ears just kind of poke through the top of it. There's no ear slit, it doesn't look like. Yeah, and actually, you know what? You're right, because in the previous episode, Terry found out instantly what was going on. Because of the hat. Like, that's kind of the point. She's trying to hide her ears, but she's not doing a very good job. Like, the hat fools anyone who has, like, f less than five brain cells. Like the rest or of Ash no So, Gareth. It fools it's, Gareth, Kawhi Chan. Nobody else knows what's going on yet. Yeah, that's well. That's true. Yeah, Melissa and Kawhi Chan barely know, and they're the ones who have had any sort of visual of Afghans since they came back. You'll need your strength to get through them. Yeah, let's sit. <laughs> what good timing that we did this as soon as you became a werewolf. Yeah, exactly. It's it almost like mass... none of it's almost like it none of that the was planned. Plan. The date with the date with Caitlin, the party, and the master plan right now. It's almost like no one thought this through at all. It's, it's almost like, as I've been saying since the start of Season 5, none of the My Street characters can plan anything anymore. No, no, see, Aaron really did plan this in advance. It's just that what he didn't plan was for her What's to survive heat. Now? No, see, what he didn't expect was her surviving heat exhaustion. This was all a plan to kill her. I, I, I mean, it's it's certainly succeeding in some way. 
I don't know, unless he decides to carry her up that mountain. Aaron? Mm hmm? I never asked, but did you feel this too? The pain? What? Mm, no, not really. I was born with it, just not the ears and tail. You merely adopted the werewolf. I was born with it, molded by it. <laughs> oh then my when my God. ears and tail Why? did come in, <laughs> well, I didn't even feel them. It didn't hurt at all? Yeah. Um, the man had been stabbed five times and came back from death. I think he had enough pain after now. Daniel even told me he saw my ears in high school, but I didn't even realize. Then, after everything that happened, they're just always there. Mm. You know, you I've been thinking, it is possible that you may have limits to what you can do. Seeing as your ears and tail possible? are... Possible? I mean, they're or still... That you don't? You, you and mean, it's you unlikely? Mean like, you mean like walking, for example? And not being in pain? What if she just got on all fours? I don't think that would help, because that's like multiple... That's like multiple pressure points on your body at the same time. Well, sure, but like, like at the same not. time, it'd be more like, like a... Like a like a wolf. Like the, yeah, it'd be more like, like a canine skeleton. Which... But Presumably, okay, yes, but remember, has... humans... But remember, I, oh, wait a minute, I was about to say that humans have longer legs, that's why we look like we're hunched over every time we do that, or we, like, kneel over. But then I remembered, it's Aphmau, she doesn't have long legs. Fine. Babe, they look beautiful. <laughs> Aaron, what are your plans? To like, kill you. <laughs> after we're done with Starlight. You'll find well, out. Well, obviously, to I mean, you and like, Livia in the woods... Yeah. He's like, what do you mean after we leave Starlight? The show's over after that point. When we go back home. Being at Starlight. I'm sorry, Akma, but we're never we'll going home. An we'll have to go back to our normal lives. No, you won't. I was You'll just wondering an adventure all the way to how heaven. things are going to go. For okay, us? Jacob. Mm hmm. While she was making Minecraft Season 5, Season 6 hadn't aired yet. But. Correct. There is a Christmas special. Yeah. That was made during the time. We'll, we'll get to her wish after this. this it was actually December. Her wish is a special so one. We, we'll be reviewing it this year. It's great because I think it really is. Her wish is truly the the uh, whole conclusion, you know, in, in, in more ways than one, you know. Chronologically, it's the end of the story, right? It takes place after, like, season six. You know, even though it came out a little bit before it ended. Yeah. And, and it has everything from season six get reversed entirely. So the ending of season six didn't even matter. Actually, it's still there's still there's all aspects that people have caught on to about the end of season six that do carry over. Yes, li little aspects, but it was not important. You could have skipped most of those episodes. And I think that shows the true meaning of all this. None of it mattered. <laughs> that could have that that I mean thematically, that could somewhat be appropriate. Maybe. Especially when you consider the whole thing about oh, it's supposed to be the reincarnations, it's all destiny or something. Well if it just wasn't. That'd be so a version of expectations right there. I'm a smart girl. Pet me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I was going to say something, but um, I'm not going to anymore. Let's leave it at that. Excuse me? Okay, B. I was thinking that I would I go back home. I think you need to take a nap, honey. Hold like, on. drink some water? <laughs> Stop drinking have... water! Why do you have to have a seizure every time you drink? Like it's, it's like imagine if I did that. Just, I just like I just, the cowboys I just, like, used to do it. Yeehaw! Ah uh, yes, cowboys always used to violently convulse when they took a swig of anything. Absolutely, you're you're hundred percent correct there. I think to our home, needs to take it now. You know, they're gonna have a wicked hangover later, and then they're gonna watch this stream, and they're gonna be like, "Oh my god, what was I thinking?" Well, I don't know about you, ghosty, but I'm thirsty. 
<laughs> oh my god, why is everyone around me losing their minds? Because we're on my street season 5, but we've done the whole series, that's why. Together. What do you mean? I mean, like... Uh, Does this imply that your first episode was have normal? To think about. I mean... I don't know, relatively speaking. I kind of want to go back and find that VOD now. <laughs> it's like... Um, it's, it's there. I, I will I will say, but I hope I will update the um the the playlist at the end at some point. I keep try, I keep get remembering to try and do that because I've been trying to import the ones I forget to actually add to that list, etc. Yeah, it's okay. Huh? Playlists don't I matter. I mean, uh, you'd be surprised. Like, uh, there's a lot that can happen, you know, and I, I feel like you know, like you could survive. Before you asked me about the bite. I felt more connected to you than I have ever felt before. No, you didn't. <laughs> this is a hive so, mind. So, uh, how do you think the, uh, the Shadow Knights are doing? <laughs> oh, I bet they probably turned the Maid Cafe into a nightclub or something more their style. <laughs> is this why Aiden keeps saying that it got turned to a nightclub? Because Akmal, like, made a one-off hypothetical joke about it? Probably. Nah, they're all just fin boys now. We should get going. The sun will be setting soon. Can you just imagine that? Just just cheating Sasha and Zedix having that full transformation. <laughs> what can Maid Zedix do for you, master? <laughs> Tell me, what would you like to order? If you're hardcore enough. I mean, if you're moe enough. That'll be safe, right? Sasha, that'll be safe. <laughs> soon, and I really want to set up the tent before night. Do you think you'll be all right? <laughs> Feeling better. I might need another break, but I'm ready to continue. Just carry think you up. could swim? Wow. Why? You'll see. Huh? We'll drown you. This man is not only trying to kill her, but also give her the most excruciating and painful death possible and humiliating. Wow. What does that mean? DJ Cool, really? This is awesome! The music is fantastic, the, the food tastes phenomenal. <sighs> great party for a great cause. Well, a lot of sponsors are here to support it. Actually, I was the one who planned this all out. Uh, really? Yep. Why would you not mention that before? While I am here for my friend, I'm also here to intern for Starlight. Why? What does this add? Why are, we, why are we doing this? Hoping they like my work with this event. That's amazing! Well, they'd be dumb not to hire you. This party is fantastic! I've been to better. So, what oh, have you- Oh, that's what it adds. Travis's jealousy. Been up to, Caitlin? Oh, oh not much. Just been was... going to school. I thought this was, like, foreshadowing Kai being the villain for next season. <laughs> Was really? Kai the because villain it... of next season? No, uh, like, you, there is you, no I... next season. No, are, are you are you implying that you thought that Kai was going to intern for Starlight and then he would be connected to the scheme that was going on and and thus yes, a part he, of he's, Michael's plan? He's the one that that Michael answers to. See, he's the meister my, my, mastermind of it all. He's, he's, he's the Michael Meister. For th he's, he's the Michael Meister Meister Michael. Theater. Trying to get a few auditions. Like, really? Well, I have a few. Uh, season originally aired, we didn't know the whole thing with Michael yet. No, but we had heard the name. Few connections to Broadway. Maybe you and I can meet sometime alone to discuss. <laughs> okay. A nice offer, but very creepy to say it like that. Let's Especially just... when. Yeah. Let's just... Guess this alone. Jacob, I want to discuss something with you right now on camera for the I'm whole the world to see. I'm a showbiz executive. Now let's go to have a lone conversation. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm totally not going to die in this room closet. Oh my word. This is. Oh, what a lovely day on the beach with Kai. Oh no, I've been stabbed. 
You know, I was I was I was gonna make a Dan Snyder joke before, but you know what? That works better. Hey, Caitlin, wanna dance? Broadway? Travis, did you hear that? Broadway! Sorry, I can't hear you. The music's too loud. I know you have potential for theater, Caitlin. You're beautiful. Kate Ah, that's the only requirement. Did he ever actually see her act in anything? I mean it's possible given his active crush on her, but Really? That's it? <laughs> You just have to be beautiful to be in theater. Yes. Lynn, I don't think that's a great idea. Okay. I mean, yeah, one second, Travis. I want to ask a few more questions. Honestly, I'm with Travis here. The way that Kai's acting right now, it does. And the, again, the connection with showbiz and discussing stuff alone. I can see why he'd be suspicious here, jealous or not. <sighs> fine, 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 fine. You know what? I'm going to go get some punch. Try the tropical kiwi punch. It's great. I'll punch your kiwi. I saw that in a comment. Someone quoted that. That's not good. Punching people's kiwis isn't okay. There! Wrote my name on my kid, card! Don't punch people's kiwis. You know, if I edited these videos, I really w I would add like a the more you know at that point. And it'd be a really funny joke if I, <laughs> I never edit the VOD, so never mind. Oh my god. <laughs> I still hate the fact that our handwriting looks the same. Well, maybe you should change yours because I was born first. Oh, you know what? They, you know what? You're right, BB. They do just paint up people's eyes. Hmm. I honestly don't care. He has a swan <gasps> on his face. They have raked yep. us. Yes, he has a swan on his face. Big disgrace. Seeing Did him die just... all over the place. <laughs> Does Kawaii have whiskers? I, I, I didn't quite see the pattern she got. Is it bad? Yep, she has whiskers. Kawhi Shen is just so trying to embrace her heritage. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> kind, of, <laughs> kind, of seems, kind of seems uncreative on her part, but you know what? Fair enough. Why not, why not dig into your roots? I, I guess. Is that an expression? It is now. The whole joke with Aaron is him trying to basically get rid of Af now is his revenge for what happened to him at the lodge. <laughs> he just like <laughs> he he secretly actually blames Af now for that. <laughs> it's just like he's taking her up to a hill after suffering so much and being on the verge of death, and then he's just gonna push her off a cliff. Like see he's how just you like it. <laughs> he's just trying to re reenact the scene where 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 she's just like walking towards him and he's like walking backwards, you know. He's gonna he's gonna teach her how to do the moonwalk and then die. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like, You've been hit by a smooth criminal. Dweak! And she falls. Like anyway. he takes out the ring box, Afmo steps back in shock and surprise and falls off the cliff. And Aaron's like Go say hi to the old woman for me. <laughs> The old woman whose face we didn't see. Add yeah. to think my brother has the attention span of a sloth. <laughs> Cupcakes for the table. Okay. No. Sloths have to have good attention spans. If they can barely move that much, they have to be able to focus on the thing they're going to towards so long. That's a good point, yeah. Um, how about we say um, the attention span of a Maya? Go with the attention span of a Maya. Yeah, that checks out. Awesome! Hey, Zane? Yeah? We, um, haven't had a chance to talk about it, but do you think we can talk about becoming boyfriend and girlfriend? Uh, food now, pepper later. <laughs> well, I mean... Let's kiss! Ooh, yes! I wait, no! Ah, so Kawaii Chad has more attention span than a sloth. Good to know. Oh! Huh? I mean, as much as I'd love to kiss you right now, it seems like every time I ask you about this, you try to kiss me to avoid conversation. Again, Kirito and Asuna from SAO Abridged. Go watch it. <laughs> what happens if they become self aware? The man had cupcakes right in front of him and reaches for the already suspicious chocolate bar. Then you really what? are Gate's son, even if you refuse to admit it. Hey! You do that 
two whenever I want to talk about this. Can we just address this? <sighs> that was not a noise. Right. There was okay. no suspicious noise on my end. Don't worry. I know this is a very serious conversation, but I must interrupt it for a second because what is that cat doing in the background? Look at that dancer in the bottom left. Probably doing the whip and nene, considering that, right? I mean, that was a thing at this time, right? Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, I, th I think that might be the possibility. It's just the fact that he's just, like precariously bouncing on one leg while doing so. <laughs> I think also, uh... someone on the set must have tried to imitate the whip and nene, then activated the dance mode and just left the character there to permanently just balance on one leg and bobble around forever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like well, that. And Thank you. to be honest, if you look at the oh, girl in the background doing the whip and nene, and the girl and uh, uh, Flash I... head in the foreground, it kind of looks like there's a bird behind them. Kill me. I'm trying to unsee it. Ah, it was the old whip and caca then. <laughs> whip and caca. <laughs> uh. What's tragic is how risk has been taken by Super if that was the case. Oh, dear. oh yeah, to talk about the after an hour thing before, yeah. Kawaii Chan. Yeah, look, I'm look ready, at them. Zane. Kawaii Chan. I'm I'm not ready to be official yet. Huh? Don't get me wrong. I I really, really like you, Kawaii Chan. More than I thought I would ever like anyone. Ever. That is but sweet. I feel like we're moving too fast. I mean, we've had a few dates at the Starlight Park, but oh, you've not I seen feel moving like we too need fast. a bit more. Yeah, uh, 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 that takes a little bit of practice. See, you yes. have to, you have to really learn how to how to adjust yourself. Mm. Ah, well, ah, uh, yes. In order to in order to move fast in a relationship, what you have to do is um, you have to do is. Im do is implicitly like imply your feelings to the person on one day actually manage to set those things to get an online kiss out of them then have them actually ask you in private if that was actually for real if you were just joking around tell them it wasn't then ask them out on a date at that particular point and then get together during the actual date no that's stupid i mean i can't even lie that was a stupid method but it worked it worked also uh jacob there is a simple solution to going faster in your relationship. Just, yeah. just your... keep going faster. <laughs> no, I was going to say, put your girlfriend in your car and put it into second gear. Ah, well then. You're moving faster. <laughs> if you yes. move faster than the other one, then eventually they'll dump you first. Yeah, well, you know, you, you know, it says, it says, it has, it has, you know, say that ghosty. I'm going to drive a faster car time oh please <laughs> don't take it away i like how i could yeah, hear the water squish sploosh in your cup i know that's like an asmr moment right there no, that, was, that was me spitting out my drink in agony <laughs> as i could no longer breathe to drink because i was laughing so hard uh, i used to that with my brother all the time actually i don't know why but he would but he would constantly try and like drink something when he was either, either laughing or like had something funny as thought. And then I'd, I'd just make some sort of like snide comment and then that would send him into hysterics. Anyway, my roommate is ignoring me and trying to convince themselves that I'm not here because I can't finish the stupid essay. Oh, is that why? Is that that's probably why you miss you miss my quip at your expense earlier, actually. Ghosty, do you I have a sibling to feed your backwash? What's an interesting way of phrasing that? No. It's okay. You Trust me. One. I completely understand. I, uh, excuse me, BB. How do I get a sibling? At least legally. How um, do I illegally receive a sibling? With oh, money just... in the free subscription service and the trial on Sibling Plus only starting at free and going to... Nine ninety nine once a year. What's the nine ninety nine thing for? The gold package they send you. They send you three at once. You get triplets. No, that's nine ninety nine. That's what you said before. Anyway, the thing is, um, is that the store that Afma was talking about in um the babysitting episode? 
but he says he can get babies from the store. I go I there pretty so. frequently. That does explain why you have so many siblings you've told stories about. Siblings are really? us. No, I don't. I'm sorry, Zane. I just feel rejected. Wait a minute. I just, I just, I just realized. <laughs> I just realized you can, you can actually, you can actually have like a, a store. That's just, that's just called, like, just called like, a, it's like friend to bro, like bros are us, and then that place will have a sister location. Oh my God! No. <laughs> and in and in Alabama, you have the world famous sibling love, which is hopefully going out of business soon. No, it's booming. No. I mean, no. yeah, that's that's the, it's uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's full of it's full of fanfic writers. You're right. Huh? I'm gonna go get some punch. I'll be right back. Huh? B okay, actual serious thing to say here. I like how um, Moika actually like alters her voice and makes her go lower in order to actually portray the, 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 this, this, this part differently. Because we have a Guaijian serious voice before and it does sound like that, so it's consistent as well. What did I do? That girl I thought was a hot dog for a second with mustard going down the side. The middle, uh, not the side. I know my direction. Sexy Kai. I know he's trying to. Good. You just don't know your humans from your hot dog. Steal my Caitlyn. I'm just waiting for him. It's to very sleep. confusing. <laughs> Kawhi Chan's filling a cup with her own tears. <laughs> huh? Kawhi Chan? What's wrong? She's She's drowning her sorrows. He doesn't want to be my boyfriend. He said he wasn't ready yet. You know what would be really good, a really great detail? If her face paint became smeared during this part. Uh, oh, um, sorry? <laughs> no. Okay, quiet. Oh no, Kawaii-chan. What are you doing? You have, to, you have to cry buckets all at once and not have the animation move while your head turns upwards. That's how you cry in my street. Jen, Kaylin brought this up to me before, but she thinks you had the tendency to move fast. Not you too! Hey, trust me, girl. I've had a lot of relationships in the past. Probably more than you. I know what it's- Wait, if that's- if that's the case, then really the meme should have been about Travis and not about Kawhi Chan and her boyfriend. It's just <laughs> like to move fast Travis and- Travis and yeah, there you go. That's that's the new thing. Well done, Travis. You brought this up yourself. Some people it works. <laughs> for others, it doesn't. You and I happen to be the people it doesn't work for. What do you hmm? mean? If Zane said he's not ready, then respecting that is the best thing you could do. I mean, think about it. What's the most romantic relationship you know? Half Mel and Aaron? Of course. Really? Yeah. Not like me and Caitlyn? No. You two no. just... No. There's a difference between just between choosing to wait, like going so, uh, and um, and going slow, taking things slowly, and also just like dragging it out beyond any recognition. <laughs> that's the thing that's different. Uh, you two are the like Travis and Caitlin are the tra are the classic. Will they? Uh, will they? Won't sit. They're Jim and couple. Pam. They're Jim and Pam. Yes, they're Jim and Pam. Except this gym is uh, a little bit sexy. Weird. I was going oh, to say interesting, but thank you. What is that face? <laughs> why is that your why is that your Travis sexy face? You trying to flirt with Travis now? I'll flirt with any person I may choose. Jacob. Listen, we're at that stage. Baby will be with anybody. This is the part of being drunk where you lose your inhibitions. Ghosty. Oh yeah, this is um, you this, this the classic. This is the classic character gets drunk at a at a bar in the middle in the middle of an episode, and then they start like immediately flirting with everyone. Oh no, it's See, Natalia all over again. No, oh, wait a minute. This is where Caitlin and Lucinda failed when they took Aphmau to that club in season three to get over Aaron. They should have had her 
drink her sorrows and then release her inhibitions. It works for me. Could you imagine how angry the fan base would have been if just Afmo ends up coupling up with a random person from the bar and then that becomes the main ship for the rest of the show? She should hook up with her dad. No! <laughs> no Bibi! No, no. Put no. back in your pants, honey! Yeah, Bibi, are you are you crazy? The dad was, was only two, was two no, seasons I'm later. Drunk. That would never have worked. Obviously. Then... <laughs> You guys are cute, and I ship you so much, so but like... Of... Agreed, kawaii -chan. you have taste. So, yes? Um, that would actually be something really interesting to explore. Mostly if you want the fandom to hate you. Like, Afmao being with a different person for a single season would probably cause the fandom to explode. Yeah, because can you... Because then the thing is that some people would actually end up seeing the benefits of that drifting away from Armal and then causing the greatest shipping war out of uh, of all of my street and Afmal fan base ever conceived. Oh god, the shipping war will be violent. Yeah, be really be worse. I, yeah. Gama, Gama and what? Armal, it was all about who would actually pair up with her eventually. With Kai with Kai Mao and Ian Mao, it was who was gonna be with her like in the moment possibly and then end up drifting apart later because obviously we know the future. With this, <laughs> this is an established relationship that has been built up for ages and completely shattered. I remember the uh, I remember the vlog After being that Ash now made. Accused of, about burning what? Yeah. Maybe I remember, I remember Afma's vlog that she made where she basically had to tell the fan base to not shit people. Oh, wait, are you talking about the uh, fourth anniversary diary stream where she ends up actually breaking down because of the Garmel Lamel war, like the scene she didn't want to write? I don't think that's the one. Pretty sure she made a whole other vlog before or after that. It was probably <laughs> after that because the fans did get pretty uh, abusive during that stream. I if it was during that, I didn't, I didn't mean during that stream. I meant, I, I meant like, um, I, I meant like in the, in the actual thing, it was just, it was her offloading what happened in the, in, at the time when she was making the video rather than the actual stream itself. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, and, and that's, that's why she was talking about why she didn't want to write the way that Garth reacted to Afma getting pregnant and then that whole situation and then actually broke down on camera. And then Jason comes in, gives her a hug, and the stream ends. Um, and yeah, actually, I looked up the um, videos uh, like at the time, see if there were any like, reactions at the time, see what the fan base thought of. It was one person who did a response video uh, to um, that episode coming out, discussing it, and, and she wasn't happy either. So there you go. Uh, Travis and Kawhi Chan would be a good fit. Mm. You know, I I would not be surprised if this is the moment where they just did all switcheroo. You know what? You know what? I think if Travis and Kawhi Chan had actually gone into uh, they gone down this route and had actually full romance together, it would have likely started out with Travis commenting on Kawhi Chan the way that you know he normally does. Possibly with a few less references to people's butts, because that would not work on her, and he knows it. Um, <clears throat> Kawhi Chan, of course, being extremely flattered, giving Travis a chance. Then, of course, you know, going super quickly, because that's what they normally do. And then eventually, eventually they realize, once they're actually in the relationship, they think that they wanted in the, in the previously, it's not what they thought. That's what I, that's what I can imagine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It yeah, would take a whole five minute, a whole five episode arc. Mm, actually, you know what? That's fair. Five episodes, fast moving, makes sense. Yes. Whatever, it does. It doesn't matter. What does matter is Afmel and Aaron. Do you know how many times they said they wait since high school? That's not really how many times I said it once in high school, and then they did wait. Now they're grown adults and barely getting together. But they kissed and stuff before.
barely. That's they are very much together, Travis. What are you talking about? Forehand. What matters is their bond is stronger because they respected each other. You know. You're right. You know what? He's actually a lot of the time when I see this stuff. Um, but it's usually like it's usually saying, "Oh, well, if you're moving at different paces, then." find somebody else who wants to move at your pace or something but you can't that's not necessarily the thing that you would uh, the thing that i would advise people to do because what really what 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 kawaii chan's journey really is about at this point is discovering the idea of like having a boy uh, having a boyfriend for the sake of the boyfriend and not the idea itself of being in a relationship which is what she seemed to be pursuing before because she wanted what Af or an aaron had just for the sake of having that. So actually, yeah, Travis saying he respecting each other's paths and there's us, but also he's not saying to he's not saying to give up. And that does seem somewhat obvious until you consider the way people handle this stuff in real life. And it's just like, well, you know, if you don't want me now, then I'm off, kind of thing. And it's like clearly they both want each other, but it's just a matter of time. And that's okay. So you know what? Travis today gets my Levi drink. Prepare your drinks, everyone, because we have all have stuff to drink from. I have a Levi. bottle. I have a bottle, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. Just, just pinch the lid. <laughs> Woo! I have a. I, I can't drink this. My hands in the. In my hands in the just way. Pinch, pinch, pinch the lid. Is like mildly do that. I don't know. E. Baby, where are you? I can't. We can't see you. <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll, we'll just do it. <laughs> <coughs> that didn't work. I was gonna convulse, but your thing was funnier, so <laughs> I spit it out on the floor because I couldn't inhale. Okay, so your thing was down to laughter, really. You, you know No, hmm. I couldn't inhale it because I'm trying to drink it in such a goofy manner. You know what? If a if a stream of mine ever gets ever gets twenty likes then I will, I will officially leave my drink out of a bottle. That's my promise right now. Leave my drink out of a bottle. You should do forget, it. It's not I, as easy as you'd think. I forget. Have I actually have I actually gotten 20 likes on a stream before? I might have done. Actually, wait. The big one that got 2,000 views, that might already have 20 likes. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have to have a look. <laughs> that one has 40. Anyway, next stream that gets 40 likes, I will then... Leave my drink out of the box. And I got mad just now at Zane and probably made him feel really bad. I should go talk to him. Actions speak louder than words. Hey, I got it. Why not write him a note telling him to meet you someplace private? Then sweep him off his feet with a surprise romantic gesture. A kiss? That works. I mean, yeah, but you've kissed him a lot before, so. Like, that's. Else. Just give that's... him a little. Oh, so it's funny, the idea of Koi Chan swooping Zane off his feet instead of the other way around. Just a, <laughs> just a play on romantic norms, you know? Actually, yeah, but it also makes sense for the characters because, because, Zane, because, because Zane is supposed to be like, an, like a very like unfit weakling and Koi Chan beat up two men in the past single-handedly, one of whom has a throw potion to increase his strength on him. So yeah, she's pretty strong. Little note, tell him to meet you somewhere, romanticize him, and then talk to him about the problem. That's so Rom romantic! Travis, you're a genius! I try. <laughs> I'm gonna go do that right now! Thank you, Travis! I'll show Zane I respect him! Travis, you Anytime. adorable idiot. You actually did something intelligent for once. There you go. Did he move close to her? Oh no, he, he didn't. Did. Oh yes, he did. It's not as fun when Pat does it. You have to have Sebastian say that line. Hey, I remember this place. Yeah, we came here once with the pack, and the campsite is all the way up there. Will we be alone? I hope so. 
I mean, no one else is going to be stupid enough to climb a mountain at this time. I've only been yes. up there once and I didn't see anyone around. Plus, it's getting late, so I think we'll be alone. <laughs> awesome! Isn't the view nice, babe? <laughs> I can feel my lungs. I don't know. One thing, so though. So can I. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. He has to do a doggy paddle because werewolf. Oh, you win no. comedy. You win oh, comedy. No. After that. Well done. Well done. You've got to swim to get to the path. Is that really it? I'm pretty sure this is a body board you can easily go around. Or just the stream fall on both sides. You're kidding me! Babe, you've got this. You've been able to swim for a while now. Actually, hold on a second. That's, like, as a world-building thing, imagine a setting where you have, like, a mountain at a stream, but the stream, like, pop, pop, spreads off in two different parts. And then you have like two rival towns, one on like the left, like the like the left river and the other one on the right river, like going through. They have some sort of like big feud as to which river is the best or something, or which one is actually like the blessed one, which one's the cursed one, and they can't agree on it. Someone write that, please. You just have to place trust in yourself. <laughs> Wait. First, toss me your backpack. Never just mind. Just... You had the same idea. Great. And the strength to do so. That's the werewolf stuff kicking in. Great minds, right? <laughs> Can you tell me the thing I want to hear? I believe in you. No, Aaron. You have to use the look at that point. Remember? I believe in you, Gara. <laughs> or whatever that thing was. <sighs> Babe. Yes, my bones are now powder, but I did it. That was wonderful. I swammed all by she, myself. She collapses when she Swammed isn't a word, <laughs> but uh, it should be now. I was about to say the same thing, Aaron. <laughs> I did it. I did it without help, without floaties, without anything. And without proper motor functions, essentially. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> I feel so energetic. Of disabled athlete. No, that wasn't that. That wasn't a jabber. Disabled athlete. No. Come on, I'll race you up the mountain. Hey, wait up! At least they have stairs. That's uh, that's good. He's not forcing Athena to climb a mountain. <laughs> Is this a beautiful spot, though? Wow! It's beautiful! It really is. Camp is here? Yep, I'll start setting things up. Surprise, it was Afma who was the one going on the camping trip all along. We can just see his tail jiggling in the background while Aphmau looks off into the sunset. Hey, fun. you shouldn't be staring at that. It's fine, Aphmau touches his ears, it's fine. Uh, that's why she asked if they'd be alone. Oh look, actually formed ears. And I guess the tail takes a while still. But yeah, cool, they actually finally showed them. How did so... she actually talk to them? Wait, I kind of like that the tips of her ears are white. Aaron, you're a little too into that, my man. 
<laughs> it's like, I've just discovered why I did this. Do they look good? I suddenly... It's fine, f -mal. You're... Finally, you're in your perfect form. <laughs> I mean, that is one thing to consider. The Aphmau basically... The, the Aaron enacted Ian's plan completely independently from Ian himself. Just to show, man, Ian should have came to that conclusion and then and then just have a mental breakdown after realizing that with or without his influence, he was completely useless and lost either way. <laughs> At least that actually... Was... That actually would have been suitably dramatic and added to the scenes Ian was in without having to have a brother plotline that was later of course, retcon. Of course, Ian would eventually would would not even would not think at the time that if he hadn't revealed the ultimate secret, then now this would have happened regardless, and all that's all he had to do, despite you know, and then anything else. But you know, he he wouldn't think of that, so it's fine. Yeah, so I can calm down. <laughs> Aaron's like, calm down, Aaron. My eyes are down here. Where did he pull that from? <laughs> they just have like, his in his ass. Like, no, please no. Uh, sorry, his what? Nothing. Uh, Mel. Uh, I... I love what she's staring right into his eyes, but he has the ring in his hand. Just look down and you'll see exactly what he's doing, you idiot. <laughs> I... I wanted to talk to you about this thing that I've been thinking about for a while now, and I wasn't really sure when to do it, but I think now is the right time. Is Kiss me, fool. something wrong? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> is something wrong? Yes, Apple, the fact that you have no peripheral vision is wrong. Oh, he put it away again. He took it out, then put it away. Okay. Uh, no matter what they look like, even if you had them or not, you'll always be beautiful to me. <gasps> this is just what sealed the deal. We've been... mm. Hold on. That guitar song in the background. That's the uh, in my dearest memories song, is there? Memories of life. That's what it's. That's what it's called, right? Together. Did they just like record Jason actually playing this on his guitar? Because that's that's amazing. Well, I mean, for a long time, and not always as lovers, but as friends. They, I mean, I the song is from Final Fantasy, say that so it might not be from Jason. Every day that I've had... I think. I think the reason they had that they had Aaron play the guitar was the fact that Jason also plays it. But yeah, maybe they just found someone to, you know, do a guitar cover for them or something. Had a well, chance to wake also up because year. canonically, Aff and Jason played Final Fantasy in their high school days. Yes, we're all aware of why the song was selected. It was the best day of my life. I lost that this year. I think she's noticed. I think she knows what's happening now. And I don't want to lose it again. Uh, Aaron. Being with you. <laughs> Has meant the world to me. I'm sorry, just that delivery. <laughs> that delivery from Afmal. She's going back to her anime girl stage. <laughs> and I want that world to be a part of my life forever. There's his black again. Uh, Someone in the comments actually said that his that 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 when he kneels down he's the same height as her but actually looking at it now the camera doesn't seem to think so will you marry me actually like he is just a little bit shorter yeah but it basically yeah they are the same height right now and it's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> hilarious yes. if you really yes. think about it yes 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 Oh god, Wee, you're gonna my kill My bones his... are still hurting. You're going to kill his knees. <laughs> not his not knees. 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 Remember, she's the one who's like in pain with all of that in her organs. Yeah. And that's it. There we go. Also, uh, might I say, I actually like the touch where Aphmau's ears are white. 
Yeah, you mentioned that. Um, any particular reason why you don't like them being white, particularly? I don't know. Well, if you really think about it, and she is a portion of Lady Irene, white is a symbol uh, of purity and divinity. Okay, yeah. She is literally the, the, a fragment of, of God, yes. Yes, I cold. know, Indeed. but the white in her ears enforces... It's a nod to that. She's, yeah, it's a nod to that. <laughs> you know, without being too upfront or in your face about it. Yeah, by the That's way, we should have really Levi, we should have nice Levi drunk to that. We should have Levi drunk to that for the actual proposal scene. I'm going to put a figurative Levi drink here. because I'm going to do a real one with my bottle again. Hopefully I don't spit it out this time. All right, here we go. There wasn't enough convulsions. Okay, oh, you know what? That's true. Fine, I'll do I'll do a second one for the first time ever on these screens. <laughs> and there we go. That's how it's done, people. There wasn't enough convulsions. <laughs> I wanted to convulse like properly, but I also didn't want to spill the drink. <laughs> it's like, uh, anyway. So yeah, um, needs to say we mocked that entire scene, but it was very wholesome, <laughs> and it is. And, and I, I do remember watching it for the first time and just rejoicing because yes, you knew you knew it was coming because that it's been built up for the past eighteen episodes, but it's still great to actually see. And again, if there's any. Is there any really concert running theme of a story throughout all the My Street seasons? It's how far Afno and Aaron's relationship progresses. It's the same reason why the reason why people want to still see them so them happy at the end and actually, you know, find a way to get past what's happened, as implied by her wish. <laughs> um, but also but also why there's an emphasis on like how it actually builds up from them. End of season one, they end up dating. End of season two, they move in together. End of season three, they patch things up after the least convincing breakup ever. Um, and, well, I don't know, episode four, they survive and separate. And then episode five, they, you know, he proposes. I know we're not at the end of, of season five yet, but the sentiment is still the same. If anyone's looking for some reason to go back and see the other but it's basically every part of my street do it for our mouth you won't be disappointed just ignore the age gap and being stopped high if you do so obviously as for the actual episode itself um yeah it's needless to say aaron's plan here definitely could have been more thought out i thought at some point maybe he would just like carried her maybe not across the actual part to swim but I still think that's a huge health and safety violation in, in Starlight. Like, just imagine trying to, like, maintain that. It's just a logistical nightmare. Um, as for Kai playing the party, not really a, not really a huge fan. Somehow they retconned him into, into becoming a uh, Hollywood executive type. Um, I really hope that that wasn't a, wasn't a reference to any other big uh big hollywood executives who might have actually been in the news around the time this was made um i sincerely get uh, because otherwise i'm pretty sure that Aiden would have picked that up in his video i don't know his video about kai so yeah fittingly enough Aiden would be pleased to know that the worst part of this episode was indeed kai i can say that with full confidence this time but the second best part naturally travis and kawaii Chan's conversation I mean, if anything, it's another episode where all three ships actually get some focus, but they also mix it up a little bit so that, you know, it's not just them all being alone. Travis and Caitlin having, sorry, Travis and Caitlin and Zane and Kawhi Chan having an overlap between each other makes perfect sense. And actually, Caitlin considered Zane finally, at last, announced that Zane was her friend. So all in all, very satisfactory, I think, for several reasons. What did you think? This episode was pretty legit. 
usually not one for romance, but this is one of my favorite episodes. Ah, there you go. Nothing wrong with a bit of romance every now and then. Especially if they're both romantic types like Travis and Caitlin, as according to Maya here. What about you, BB? This was good. Thank you. All right. When's the next episode coming out? Now. What? No. Is it? What? Now. We begin. Let's just start. Oh, I thought you meant like after I uploaded two videos at once, like in the same day. Yeah, no, definitely. Let's begin. Come on. Off we go. Which, I, which by the way, when we get to like season six, and that whole thing starting, I am going to have to do three streams in one day. I am not looking forward to that. Or just a really long stream. Hmm. I could do that. Because I could just title the first three episodes. That was consistent with how she actually marketed those. Yes. That could be the way to do it. Oh, well, like you're trying to make it infinitely harder. You have to set up three different streams instead of just doing two, one stream that's just super long. Yeah, well, for the sake of like preservation and also potentially watch time, that would be that would be the most uh, actually maybe not maybe 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 in terms of watch time, that's be better to do it that way. I don't know. I just thought consistency would have been a uh, better way to do that. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, point is, we're going to see the payoff next episode of not just this uh, proposal, obviously, because we saw how that turned out right now, but instead, we actually, um, we're going to get to witness the payoff of Travis's intelligent moment, as, uh, as Ghosty actually commended him for. So we're going to see how that plays out in the next episode, titled, Sane Betrayed. Oh God! I forgot about that episode. You just when remembered how you remembered how Travis's plan play, paid out, didn't you? You remember how it actually went? Yeah, I I remember how it goes. I remember how it goes too, and I am not a fan. I think Maya can attest to this. I am not one for petty romance drama with little foundation. So we're gonna like enjoy that next time. On I like 6th. a little bit of romance, but I'm not one for romance drama. That's kind of the reason why I'm not in a relationship to begin with. I don't mind romance drama. But you itself. could be the I main like character, dog. I like I like romance drama to be like, you know, built up or have some sort of unique format to it or some individual problem emerging from the relationship itself rather than artificially inserting something into that. So yeah. Um, anyway, we'll we'll cross that bridge on September sixth, same time, same place, five years later. Until then, what? please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters. You say wait. Is that a dog? Yes. I like dogs. Okay. See, some sometimes when you order on on um on uh like like siblings are us. They don't give you humans. They run out of humans sometimes. So sometimes they made a whoopsie. Yep. There Was, you go. Honey, you are very, very drunk. I can see it in your eyes. I think we're gonna have to. We're, we're gonna have to leave it here. I, I, I believe. I think we should just all just disappear after this. So, um, because otherwise that just give BB an incentive just not to rest at all. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And. Uh, We'll see you all next time, same time, same place, five years later, on September 6th. And please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters. And follow if you're not already on if you're on Twitch, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe if you're not already. And subscribe to Ghosty as well and to BB on the Butter Bunch. Um, also, we're making a server at some point. I'm waiting for a bit to make the announcement uh, in a vid in video format on the Butter Bunch itself. But here's a teaser for all you loyal Twitch people that two of you still watching uh <laughs> so uh yeah look forward to that at some point we actually launch it and on that note until next time farewell I see and you. also one last thing happy liver day don't get drunk i see Bye. you